Mm. We are here after five days of immersing into our first couple retreat edition, Rise in Love. And we want to share a little bit about these five days with these amazing free couples that were embarking on this journey together with us. Mm. It was so beautiful, such a beautiful journey to see how they have open from coming very shy and okay what is gonna happen what are the other couples with so many questions on their head as well with so much uh, yeah like fears mm -hmm. and mm, and how at the end they were looking all so blissed out and the sharings that we had mm -hmm. were so touching mm -hmm. uh, and for many of them it was very hard to understand how spirituality can be combined with sexuality and it was very beautiful to see especially the men of the couples to open up to this idea and to find a really deep connection for all the tools that we have been provided from the breath work in the morning to the tantric sex rituals to like yeah to how they really opened up and found their connection to the thing that is bigger than themselves and the sacredness in lovemaking <sighs> just no words for it we're touched and we're no um, words for it you know i want to say something but it's so hard because as well they they all have their own words to put into that because i feel that we yeah when we talk about our retreats we always repeat because it's our style we have our language we have our own vocabulary we have as well our projections of what the transformation can look mm. like and then when you listen to them how they express themselves how this journey has impacted their lives how um, i was in awe i was crying like mm. a baby mm. on the last serene like so beautiful so much beauty that comes up and so much deepening of their connection and their bonding and it was so beautiful to to see them like softening up throughout these days and also like bringing in more spices like they were all so grateful for the tools that they're having now to do it differently in their own bedrooms mm -hmm. and to bring in a little bit more of kink of power dynamics embark deeper into the sweet spot between pain and pleasure and to see this providing in couples it's a whole new level for us mm -hmm. like only having couples who come and who stay together with their beloved and really taking it deeper so we have come up with new exercises for them there and are new yeah. exercises that i really like when we really present the characteristics of eight new archetypes that we have defined mm -hmm. and then we have them uh, really thinking on their relationship and identifying how much of each archetype um, are they playing mm. and as you probably know archetypes are universal energies and they they have good treats and bad treats so we have them releasing the bad treats and as well like calling in and embody uh, more of the good treats mm. and i think we provide a very good kind of framework mm. for them to work is for them to have like um Sometimes you have in, you are with your partner and then something is happening and you don't really know, you know, you are, you know, when you know, when you are blind to other things and okay, why this work or why mm. this doesn't work and to have a framework through archetypes is okay. Now you are in your healer or I want you to bring more the healer or now you are on your pet archetype and I want less or I want more of that or mm. I think I'm yeah. very proud of that one. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing to identify certain patterns and routines and to learn how to break these patterns and to bring in new dynamics into the bedroom. I like that. Mm. And a lot of they were very grateful for very simple uh, co-regulation co tools that we are bringing. Uh, actually, 
yeah, in the final sharing, they all mention one of the most basic exercises. Mm. But we understand that because many arguments with our pa partners, they come from a place that our uh, nervous system is deregulated. We are um, reaching our capacity. Uh, so tools like that, which are like very, very simple, really make a lot of difference when handle conversations, mm. we are being able to ask for what we want and to increase the window of tolerance, not only about bad things, but as well about good things. Okay. Like uh, to get more love, to be able to receive more love, to be able to receive more pressure without, without uh, shutting Freaking out. out. Mm. Because sometimes we think that we only have a window of tolerance for the bad things, but we also have for the good things. When our partner is like really loving or really wants to give us a lot, sometimes we can shut down and also, yeah, mm. this be, being very unfamiliar and trigger, mm. triggering us a lot. Yeah. So yeah, this was our first Rise in Love experience and we are pleased to see couples rising in love and we are rising together with them and out of this um, emergence and ascension we have put together our dates for 2023 there have been um, 11 couples who wanted to join were interested but couldn't make it for the dates we have a waiting list <laughs> yeah so if I you was see just that, like, so looking forward to the moment we will have a waiting list for our retreats I feel so accomplished yes we're doing great work so this is just a natural um, byproduct of, of the transformational experiences that we're holding and yeah we are happy if you want to get to know the dates for next year to be part in our rise in love couple retreat with your beloved then send us a dm and last but not least bear is gonna share a little bit more about our mandala the other day i put a story where i i focus on this uh, mandala which is our logo um, and i i put a story asking asking if someone wanted to know the story and I received like eight people saying that they want to know more about what is this. So, I don't know if you can really see, I hope you can really see. Yeah. But there are two triangles on this mandala. There is like uh, the feminine and the masculine. So this symbolizes more like the tantric or the neo-tantric uh, part of Blix. And then there is like this kind of S with three legs. <laughs> and this is the symbol of uh, BDSM. And because Blix is half Neo Tantra, half BDSM, uh, we call it Conscious Kink. So this is our logo and our mandala. Mm -hmm. Now it's transmission. <laughs> Till next time. Mm. Mm. Wow. I love how wonderful <laughs> beings. <laughs>